Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Last Federation, or TLF for short, not to be confused with FTL, the much more popular game that honestly kind of looks like this. I'm your lovely host, Galvin, and uh, this is by a publisher, or rather developer, sorry, Arson Games. They're known for some interesting games. Um, we're just going to go to advanced start here. We have strategic difficulty, combat difficulty, starting year and your crash line site. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of roguelike menus. Or rogue lights, I suppose. Uh, which is fitting since we were just talking about FTL. I swear this is not like an FTL clone. It's actually an interesting game. Now, those of you that have been around, you know I don't feature games and I don't find at least interesting. I never guarantee that games are good, just that they're interesting. Uh, and you know, this is just why I'm gonna set up hard like I played on I was playing on normal last time and found that strategic stuff was no real issue uh, I found normal normal is actually your flagship is twice the normal health uh, oh I'm sure that's unusual making a harder escape squadron and then is also deploy at 1.5 times speed your flagship has half the health of normal NPC ship flagships are one time 0.6 times normal health your direct fire weapons and abilities do 0 0.7 times as much damage. Eh. Four times faster than usual, making harder to escape. Squadrons of enemies deploy at twice speed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it normal. Like, I I only died because I fucked up. But, um, I don't even have Iron Man mode. I could go back to my uh, other game, but I'm not going to. Uh, I feel like this game is better played like a roguelike. You just to uh, explain to me what Iron Man means. Yes. I'm well aware of what Iron Man means. Alright. So, this is the exposition for the game. This is us. I am the last of the murdered race of Hydrals. Hydrals. Hydras. Figure it out. My countrymen were the dictators of the soul system. So we kind of had it coming. Yes, that's me and you're me. This is our story. As a sole survivor, thanks to a renegade mission, I undertook betraying my race to bring spacefaring technology to our potential rivals. My ultimate goal, the creation of a peaceful, unified federation of planets. Only then can we be safe from the kinds of atrocities my race committed, and the kinds that were committed against us. Naturally, upon my crash landing on this planet, I was placed in captivity. Having no concept of my strength, they did not realize I was merely waiting. I waited for years. Start at first. I Proto three thousand. My dream of universe federation is as alive as ever, and now the Skylaxians have finally gotten themselves into orbit. After spending so much time with me as a peaceful captive, they were ill prepared for my escape. I have commanded the first prototype, commandeered sorry the first prototype battle carrier, and now the Skylaxians are in hot pursuit. The sense of honor of the Skylaxians is intense. They have disapproved of my race for centuries, but I think they may have been on the cusp of forgiving me. But I've crossed that line. There's no going back now. Here they come. I outclassed this force so severely that it'll be almost impossible to lose. So now's a good time to put my ship through its paces. But I have to be careful. If they manage to take out my ship, I'll be just as dead now as later. Alright, so this is basically tutorial combat. Alright. So, this is the uh, combat interface. Down here we have our special abilities. Here we have power relocation between weapons, shield, and engines. I'm actually going to take away power from the engines and pump into the weapon system. So I found this is actually pretty good. Now, this is kind of simultaneous turns. For example, I've just told I will move that in my turn. And uh, I'm going to set fire at selected ships. There's auto fire fire at exact point. This is good if you have to lead your target. And hold fire as well. Auto fire is good if there's like 50,000 fighters around you and you just want to kind of clear it out with your minigun or whatever. And there you have currently have shields up, so the energy blaster would be a good idea here. You want to use the weapon for the job. Alright, so we're going to target that ship with our energy blaster. Alright, very good. They've decided to do that. Now, none of their shots are homing here, so what we can do is this. 
And I'm going to continue firing the energy blast with that. Perfect. That shield's still up. Jeez. Alright, another, another round of it. Good. Alright, now it has energy orbers, absorbers resist energy. Down here in the bottom left, I can't move my uh, cursor off the ship for this because kinda, you know, that's what appears up. There's the SRS Manamune Type Model X. And uh, your DPS against this, that shows all of my available weapons. The highest DPS is the Gravity Lance. This weapon. Of which they just barely sit out of range of. I got one Gravity Lance off. The difference is huge when you use the good weapon. So, you want to try and use the good weapon whenever you can. Boom, boom. Alright. Okay. So, the Skylaxians were just the uh, guys I plant. I decided to uh, crash and land on. Right? Like, that was, they were the starters, you know? Nothing more, nothing less. And I understand a little more now about my the impact of my choice and how the Skylaxians is actually the worst one to impact on. But after what I did last time, I kind of feel like I'm required to do it. Because I feel like, I suppose, I did get a bit of a roguelike vibe from it. That, uh, you know. Well, I tried something harder than usual, I should say. Something that I shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't have for my first run. But I'm not going to give up on it. Ah, good. So the solar system is different every time. Well, at least kind of. So this is the solar system. This is, you know, the, how to say, the uh, playing field here. This is the Hydrel homeworld remnants. It's controlled by the Skylaxians. Pro tip, watch the sky for any moons you don't recognize. That's no moon. Um, and we have each planet which is inhabited by a different species. The uh, Skylaxians also seem to inhabit our homeworld. Nothing new there. Now, we can also deal with their government. The Skylaxians have as an interplanetary body that makes all decisions for their race. The Skylaxians are seen as fair brokers by all of the races. A good relationship with them can help backdoor other residents into the Federation, even if the other races hate you. Trouble is, the Skylaxians are likely to take issue with many of your actions. Yeah, so they're a bunch of pansies. Now, where are my friends from the last game? There they are. The Burlust and... The Thoraxians. Yeah, sorry. Good, good. They're going to be my main friends. Um, also, the Akudians. Actually, yeah. yeah. We're going to start with the uh, Thoraxians and the Akudians. They're, 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 I'm... Blah. And I say this because we look at Federation progress. The victory here... This victory birth here. Create federations with the Skylaxians. <laughs> yeah, that's they're the only other spacefaring race right now, so that's why that they're the only ones that show up. But they're they all have unique uh, federation forming conditions with each other. So we're gonna go to Lugos, and we're gonna take a friendly action. Really, I thought I'd turn this tutorial shit off. Yes, I know what friendly actions are. We're going to intervene and deliver them spacefaring technologies. This will gain us 5,000 credit, which is, for all intents and purposes, cash. 50 influence with them, because I gave them tech. The Akudians will become spacefaring, and the Skylaxians will be pissed. Because I'm giving other people spacefaring technology. Despite the fact, you know, I gave them spacefaring tech. Alright, so the entire goal is to just simply make it to that beacon there. In fact, we don't even have to shoot. I don't know if we will. I'm just going to pump it into the engines, which is pretty good. I'm just going to hold fire. There are these drones around here, and you want to make sure you do not get hit by them. I'm going to be driving literally through a defense line, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful here. Yeah, all right, that's a win, I think. It's really easy at the start. Didn't even lose half my shield. 
Pod successfully jettisoned with the technical documents and we went to hyperspace. So, and combat. Alright, so Skyla, or whoever, the Yakutians, sorry, are now, uh, now spacefaring. And, you know, everyone has interesting things about that. Uh, Alright, and now we're going to go to the Thraxian homeworld and do the same. Yeah. Alright, now this is, it gets harder every time you uh, add a spacefaring race to the mix. Anyway, way through here. Do I want to go through there? I feel like my better path is through. Alright, I'm just going to uh, hold fire. Alright, I'm going to show you why these alarm drones are actually a, kind of a problem. There. That should have caused... Yeah, that's caused a massive warping of uh, various guys. From no attack, we don't need it. Oof. Got out of there with just the bare minimum of our shield intact. But it started causing additional guys to come in all over the place. And that's why you don't really want to, uh, you have nothing to worry about. You got your gloss over, and they'll be all over with your ships. DPS against this, yada, yada, yada. Basically, as far as I can tell, they seem to summon more guys. That, that's it. And it gets harder with the more spacefaring races there are. The Akutians are kind of mad at me. Federation progress. Very good. And now we're going to be doing it once more against the Bur Burlusts. Planet Uther. Uther the Lightbringer. Alright. Like I said, this kind of makes things, you know, picky. Because everyone's going to hate you for giving everyone spacefaring tech, even you. The people who give you spacefaring tech really shouldn't be, you know... In a position to be pissy at you about it. Let's make it no time. Done. Real easy run missions. You know? Alright, we've given them. And this guy likes you. really hate us now. But. Nothing new though. Alright. So now we should see Federation progress. Eh, well, whatever. We're going to, uh, I should go talk to the government here. The burlesques are a mess. Like the Peltians, they don't respond to credit. Unlike Peltians, this isn't due to innocence. The burlesques respond only to threats, violence, and bribes. If, keep in room that they keep in mind their room is, that the king is sitting in, he, he is quite literally on a, uh, throne that appears to be made out of spinal columns? In a room full of various bones. Yeah. Leverage works only against specific warlords. Just don't put all your stock in one warlord, as one internal intrigues or wars can wind up getting your guy killed. Yeah, we need at least 50 if it influence uh, with them for Federation. So, here we have our planetary, uh, wow, planetary warlords. The prime one is Multir, and there's two secondary ones. We're going to talk to Multir. We're going to challenge him to a duel. Oh boy, these guys have hunted us down. There is no retreating from this battle. Yes, there is no retreating from this battle, thank you. Okay, so that is his ship. Hull, 1 million points. Shield, 4.3 million points. He is outclassing me, to say the least. Um, so we're going to have to be careful here. Now... What I'm going to do is reduce power like so, and so start driving away from him. I'm going to change over to energy blasters, and just start laying into him. Well, I suppose it's not a tree lot of fire. You know, whatever. Alright. We just got to have to be careful. You'll notice that his weapon range is a lot shorter than mine when I have all this power in the weapons. Which is pretty much what I'm going for here. We're just going to barrage him down, kind of. I'm going to be in a little distance, that's all. Don't worry about it. Okay, he is faster than this. 
So I want to speed up. So we'll drop a little power from the weapons and get a little more for the engines. And that way we can keep them at a bit of a safe distance. Most of the enemies we have two advantages on that should make us, for the most part, invulnerable. And there are very few that uh, are otherwise a problem. As far as I can tell, this does seem to go on infinitely, by the way. Uh, so we can just kind of, you know, keep fleeing the way we are. Also, Bounty Hunter's Gunshot. He's actually outrunning his own guns. That's pretty amusing. That's pretty amusing. Alright, so yeah, we continually have been barraging it. We got the shield down to 2.6 million, so... Closing in on halfway. It's gonna require a lot of barraging to do his shields in. That's fine, I'm not too worried about it. He's gonna try and capitalize on this, which is fine. Yeah, the AI isn't too bad, but there really is nothing he can do in this scenario. And that's a bit of a problem for him. I'm going to do a little gap closing. We'll get through a shield very soon. Less than a million points left. How many... does it show how many we have? Yeah, we have 166,000 and 189,000. We're actually pretty weak, by comparison. Alright, so now he has energy absorber issues. Now, hilariously, this next weapon that we'll be using is the minigun, which is the most effective against him. Whereas energy blaster is even worse. Uh, so yeah, we're doing like several thousand damage tens of thousands, really. He's, he only has a million in hull, so it won't be too hard. I said, it's pretty easy to actually take out the Warlord like this. Oh. Okay, so I'll let Q, which allows me to just stay put. He'll drive into range. I am just going to not move for this round, either. Yeah, I'll let him ca catch up a little much. Oh god. How much health does he have left? 230,000. I guess I can let him get into range for posterity's sake. He actually has a beam weapon. Um, because I dueled one before. And uh, that's what that cone there is. So I'm just going to stay put. Because he's going to die. Boom. So we just killed him. Likewise, we could have died there. Hey, someone caught the black bubbles! The video feed of this is pretty crazy. You have to come see. Yeah. The voicing in this game is weird. Really weird. Alright, so we go have a look at the Warlords. Tickpock has taken over. And Turtok is a new secondary Warlord. We have a lot of leverage with this guy now. You know? A lot of leverage. And the people idolize me now is the one who uh, successfully did beat them. Federation deals. We can we now have the option to create a strong federation. 90% attitude towards both the Akudians and the Thraxians, and both of them must have 90% attitude towards the Burlists. The uh, Akudians and Thraxians need not like each other. Yeah. You know? And that's what the interesting thing about this government is. It's basically just the warlords. We can, say, go into military-industrial complex. We can uh, have them attack someone. There's no one valid right now. We can accelerate warship mobilization, invest in infrastructure using leverage. Build a random building. There's a whole slew of technology as well. Um, this is us, the last Hydral. And this is the technology we have. Which includes basic subatomic theory, lab-grown meat, and, yeah. It's only the year 3000. More will open as time passes, which is fine. You know? Uh, and we're likely going to have to, uh... Yeah, we're gonna... Go... Mm, I don't really want to raid the Akudians for that. 
I'll have to wait until someone else becomes spacefaring on their own. So yeah, they like me a lot now. The Skylaxians are have hired pirates. So just start screwing with everyone. Friendly axe. Uh we're gonna have to Yeah, we'll assist with Armada construction. For twenty months. And I'm just gonna enable super speed. And the reason is I'm just trying to improve my relations with them. There, now we don't have horribly low relations with them. They had a stock market crash, that sucks. And there's events that will pop up on various planets from time to time. Shortage of doctors. Good. Good. I don't like the Skelaxians, they need to burn. And they've actually got a manufacturing outpost here. Interesting. They've already already an outpost has been built. I'm impressed. It's a little early, I think. Alright. And yeah, alright. Everyone's more or less uh, content with me. We can talk to the Thraxian Queen. Overall, very difficult to please, yada yada yada. Mm, you know, this is this is their government. They have a queen. They are Thraxians, they are insectoids, and a hive mind at that. So, you just have the local queen's mood. Neutral. Her next potential mood swing is soonish. Yeah. Kind of weird that way. Burlusts. They hate them. Um, military deals? Is it? No. Interplanetary relations. Broker a trade route. The Peltians. That would probably be a good thing to do. Wait. Peltians. I'm trying to remember who they are. I suck at that. Yeah, no. I don't want them trading with the Peltians. Uh, they aren't even spacefaring yet. I don't care about them. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so I'm just trying to, you know, keep friendly here. Let's, uh... Space outpost development. Yeah, maybe. We should probably aid their economy, actually, since they just had a stock market crash. We have Hydral Tech, so we can kind of do all these cool things. You know, try and offset their uh, stock market crash. At least keep their economy kind of in check. Friendly Axe. Here we can, uh, you know, actually search nearby areas for Hydral Technology. This is how we can upgrade our flagship. Acquire two new special abilities. I haven't used the special abilities yet, and honestly, they all pretty kind of well suck. So there, there's a good reason for that. These are going to be fairly easy to take care of. Oh my god, damn it, I left auto fire on. It just I One thing I do have a gripe about is that it automatically switches back to auto fire. By the way, the, there's hotkeys there, and I'm going to start using them again. I was kind of not using them at first because. Oh. First is minigun, really. I thought they had shields. <laughs> Fire the minigun. So yeah, they, they move incredibly slowly. Killed three Akudian pilots. But I don't know uh, why there are Akudian pilots on these unmanned hydral drones. They're technically considered a random race that we're fighting for this battle. This is, I suppose, a programming quirk. It's easier to do that way. Open fire. And we have those over there as well. Good to know. We're just kind of keeping our distance. Strafing by. Probably should have actually targeted that one. The remaining shots would have killed it. Alright. Okay, done. Alright, so our objective is to dock with the Hydro Technology Lab. Docking is generally pretty hard, unless you, you know, kill everything in the surrounding area first. That thing's immobile, so it doesn't actually matter. I'm just going to press Q. Go ahead. 
All right, and then we can just not do anything. We have a certain number of seconds remaining. I don't know how long each turn specifically is. It seems to be two and a half seconds, give or take. Yep, two and a half seconds. There, done. <clears throat> okay. 55.0.55 solar months or 11 seconds. We acquired a signal transfer and a transfer power. Which is good. Um, I'll post details. Yeah, they don't mind me at all. They're good. This is this is fine. Um, can we, yeah, the problem is we can't just go anywhere. There's also a black market up here where we can sell and buy various things, including new weapons. Uh, we got a detailed info here. We have a whole bunch of stuff. Everything from our inventory, such as technology. Customized flagship. Yes, yes. Okay, they're really. I turned off tutorial. I even turned on Iron Man for goodness sake. We don't really have anything that we can do, though. We have now, however, the special ability emergency shield repairs. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. It can only be used when you have at least 10% hull health, damages your hull by 5%, but brings your shields up to full power. I'm taking that. Fuck yeah. That's a special ability I don't actually give a shit enough to use, I think. We actually got something good there. We can kind of replace our weapons and various other things. Click enable to attack. So now I can simply uh, start engaging uh, them in space now. So there's a... this is a pirate. So he deserves what he's about to get. Let's try that again. There we go. Finally got through. Uh, is this minigun or...? Yes, minigun is the most effective weapon. So we'll swap over that. Start boring through his hull. Done. Alright. Credit gained by destroying enemy ships. 800 here. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. The Skylaxians are... Wow. Another Akudian manufacturing outpost. Jesus Christ. These guys are about to go global super... Or stellar superpower on our ass. I may have awoken someone I'm going to regret. So. Neutral. Very soon. Yes. Attack another race. You cannot do this. The Hive Queen won't go for this in her current mood. Yeah. Uh, you know, we know, how, we know how bitchy women get when they're pregnant and how many mood swings they have. She lays ten th tens of thousands of eggs. I, I accept that. Shortage of doctors. Hopefully they'll, uh... Hopefully they will, uh... Die here. Hostile actions. So you don't like these. Yes, I'm... God damn, fuck off. Alright. We're gonna recruit an informant. There. Hostile acts. Now we have a lot more. We can raid for technology. We can hire bioterrorists, saboteurs, the hotel and casino complex, bomb shelter. Increases non robotic birth rate. Increases armada construction by one. Planetary history museum. We're going to sabotage that then. Who will this? The burlesques will like me. No one else will care. Of the Skylaxians, obviously. Take the action. There you go. There. Mm -hmm. That weakens them. And, uh, we're going to raid them for some technology. Yeah. Fast as satellite communications, all scientific research is boosted. We want that. So, our objective here is to dock with the Orbital Science Lab, which is right there, actually. All right, well, let's turn around, open fire on them. These are just some defense platforms, nothing major. Uh, this one for targeted, please. Doo -doo -doo. They're just kind of off shooting there. Uh, 
Alright, that requires me to use a gravity lance now. Okay, I'm just gonna stay still. So I'll gravity lance, which has actually a fairly short range in comparison. Boom. Alright, and I'm gonna stay still. I'm gonna swap to auto fire. And I'm gonna swap to my minigun. Because I'm getting a lot of fire coming in on me right now. From various fighters. This seems like a bad idea. But I need to be able to turn a little faster, that's all. There we are. There, now it doesn't matter. Um. Actually, no. No, that's pointless. I guess I could use energy blasters to take that out, but that's irrelevant because they're not shooting at me. Alright. We're good, I think. Yeah. Done. Very good. Simple, simple mission. It, it, it does get harder as time passes. Skylaxians hate me. Spent under credit. And we stole faster satellite communications, which is good. All right. Now we're gonna go here. We're going to talk to the CEOs. Deliver the final blow to your race. And as well as this carry is over in yada yada yada. Little background information about each race. Uh, we're going to political details. Scientific. Create federations with other race. Colonize moon. Industrialize and most repair capabilities, etc., etc. Create a federation with another race. Must be at least 90. We have absolutely no relations. Issues with anyone else, that's good. Uh, we're already on wholesale trade. Undefined rival economy. Prioritize the environment. Broker a trade route. Look, there are any plans that are valid for this based on resources everybody else needs and what these guys have. Yeah, there's no deal possible. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna try and, you know, head over to the Thoraxian homeworld. Uh... I'm looking here. Ooh, a disease has appeared. Location event in the Burlests. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, the Burlests are having some trouble there. Not good at all. They're holding on. Damn. I want to sponsor some bioterrorists here. This is just sort of an event log. You know? You know, research tech, construct a factory outpost, so on and etc. Now, if we're going to be here, I'm going to take Friendly Axe. Mine an uncolonized moon. Terbium. I wonder what that could be a reference to. Uh, you know, you can do things like that. Um, always wanted to spend months mining, mining for your alien overlords, yada yada yada. Space outpost development. Client will not sponsor project longer than X amount of time. I see. Um. Oh yeah, we're near enough to the uh, ice belt to do that. Expand usable land area. We can spend a few months on the task. Yeah, we're, we'll increase their usable land area. Trying to, you know, figure out property development. Takes a while, and you won't be able to do anything else. In the meantime, allows you directly add to the client's infrastructure. The number of months required to complete this project is high, then you need to hire a mercenary. Ah, uh, yes, because we can we can actually build stuff. We have the technology for that. We're going to expand the usable land area. Try and help them out on that. And super speed it. There you go. Plus 20 influence with the Thoraxians, and they get a little more usable land. Racial power grid. How are things? So yes, this is the alliance. Once you, uh, you know, get your alliance going, then counter-alliances can pop up. Also, pirates can form their own empire and win. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what, 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 what the gist of it is. Um, haven't gotten to the point where pirates start becoming an issue, though. I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. We will see. Alright. I think I'm going to cut this uh, episode here, though. So, 
this is The Last Federation. A bit of an interesting game, like I said. Just a bit. Um, it's available on Steam currently. It comes out in three days, so I will leave a link in the description. If you're interested in this game, check it out. I, I think it's kind of cool. So, thank you everybody else for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.